Yo, what's up guys, Arrow here, and in today's video we're going to be doing the Photoshop tutorial for my thumbnails. So let's just get straight into it, so first you want to get this, the magic wand tool. Copy these settings, like up here, and there's going to be some bits, like if you've got good lighting, there's going to be some bits that are going to go like in. So you need to get the rubber, and just go over like around the bits. That like this, like this. Let's go around it carefully. Try not to cut anything else out. And if you can't like see the outline, then just do it like the way you think it looks. And if it looks stupid, just go back. You need to outline everything, mainly just the white bits. Or like, the really bright bits. Like this. So just keep going until you've done like every single bit. Alright, this should be good. Sometimes it doesn't, yeah like this and it's still the same. So you could just go back and make sure you've got every bit like the here. And the same thing here. Let's see if it works. Yup. Not this side do. Hmm. Alright, it's here. What do you mean? So just make sure you've got like every bit and once you're certain that you've got all the bits hold on then you can control d and click it again and just remove it so once you've got that this is what i do i've got a thing saved with good backgrounds, good lighting. So I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna get a snow background because I think they look the nicest. I'm gonna get snow. Make sure to motion blur or Gaussian blur your background and it's gonna have lights in it. And yep, so. I'm gonna save this just as a background. Um, if you wanna add anything to your thing, to like your picture, go to a place like I just did, and then just resize it. Simple Photoshop skills, and then bring it back. So far, it looks alright. But we can make it a lot better. So what you do now is you can do this. You come down here, click this, right click, create clipping mask. Go to your drawing tool, just copy these settings and go around the places you want to be brighter. So I, I could do a bit here and then once you're done you should select overlay or you could do it at the start 
Вот. It's just the other one, like all the bits, you want to be brighter. So mainly around the edges. Once you've done this, I've got this picture. I just search up like light shining, and it's this one. So place it like around their head or like where the lighting's coming from, and then just change it to screen, and it makes a good lighting effect. Now I can duplicate it. And make another one. And put it on the goal tripper. Makes a good effect. And for this thumbnail, I'm putting verses. Because that's what the. I don't know how to say it, but that's what they wanted. <laughs> the person I'm making this for. I'm gonna put a good font. And I'm gonna resize it. Maybe like 400. And then I'm going to put a color overlay. Make it white. And put. What is it? What is it? A stroke. And. Wait a minute, I forgot how to do this. To go to like. I don't even know, but. Oh no, it's not that, it's not that. You go to. The gradient overlay. And. You go. Like orange. The white. Nah, maybe red the white. Just whatever thing, like whatever you think looks better. You can like drag it back. And for this, I wanted a chronic logo. Put this here and move this down a bit. I've got the way I cropped this, it's pretty bad, so I need to rub some things off. If you guys want an SFM tutorial, let me know. Because this is just a Photoshop tutorial. I'm gonna put Drop shadow on this to make it look better. And maybe turn up the saturation and the brightness a bit. It's up to you. And yeah, that is basically how you do the Photoshop. Well, that's how I do it. So if you want. Another tutorial on how to do the SFM, which is this, what I just did here, then let me know in the comments. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, and um, peace.